Federal agents, open up. In the new film, In the Line of Fire, Clint Eastwood is Secret Service agent Frank Horrigan, a man haunted by one unforgettable day in 1963. He was on duty and was not able to save JFK during that fateful day in Dallas. John Malkovich is Mitch Leary, a professional assassin set out to kill the modern-day president. As you can imagine, the two cross paths, and it's Eastwood's job, both personally and professionally, to stop Leary. What's kept you in the game all these years? Why don't we get together and have a drink? We could talk about that. Oh, I'd love to, and I think the less you know about me, the better. Oh, why? Because I'm planning to kill the president. Throughout the film, Eastwood and Malkovich are deep in a cat and mouse chase. Both actors seem perfectly at ease with their roles. Secret Service, I'm impounding this car. You John Malkovich's portrayal of a well-trained, mentally prepared assassin is right on target. He's a man with a mission who, like Horgan's character, is willing to die for his cause. Malkovich is able to blend into any character he wants, leaving Horgan and you, the viewer, anxiety-ridden, wondering where he might be next. Frank Horgan is one of the best on-screen characters Eastwood's played in a long time. He's tough, vulnerable, adorable, and even charmingly sexist. I've never worked with a female agent before. How many are there? About 125. Hmm. Pure window dressing. Excuse me? No window dressing here on my scale of one to four bags of popcorn in the line of fire is a surefire hit with four explosive bags. Lisa Petrillo, Channel 10 Eyewitness News, Daybreak.